about books. My name is Tavia and today you are joining me for my second book haul. I haven't one done one in about three months and in my TBR game I've definitely done a couple book hauls so it's kind of big. I don't think it's big as the last one but I could be wrong. So we're gonna Last time I did by places I purchased it from, this time I am going to do by category. So we are going to start with middle grade. For middle grade, I picked up Arusha and the Song of Death by Roshni Chachki, which is the second book in the Pandava series. And this basically is following a group of kids who are the ancestors of some Pandavas. This is the second book in the series. The first one is this Arusha on the End of Time. I loved the first one, so I picked up the second one. Okay, and then I picked up Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. Uh, I don't really know anything about it. I know it's supposed to be spooky, um, but it is a uh, middle grade, and yeah, so Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. And then I picked up the Boy, The Bird, and The Coffin Maker by Matilda Woods. I have no idea what it's about, but I really liked the name, and it was pretty cheap, so I just picked it up because I want to read a little bit more middle grade because I'm finding I enjoy them. And then I picked up The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill, and um, this book is about a girl, and this city gives a witch in the woods a child, and this witch accidentally fed the girl... Um, the moon instead of the sun, I believe. Uh, but from what I heard about it, um, it sounded really good, so I picked up. And then last for middle grade, I picked up Amari and the Night, and Brother, Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. Everyone's talking about it. I have no idea what it's about, but everyone is raving about it, so I saw it and I had to pick it up. So yeah, that is the last for middle grade. Okay, now my biggest purchase for sure was young adult fantasy, which is one of my favorite genres. And so I am going to do young adult fantasies. So for the first ones that I picked up, there's five books. And I picked up the Percy Jackson series. I loved the movies, and I just never read the books. So I picked them up, and I got really cool covers where it's that so I have all five of the Percy Jacksons okay and then for the next young adult fantasy that I picked up was between the spark and the burn by April Genevieve Tukluki sorry I'm pronouncing the last name wrong uh, this is the second book in the series between the devil and the deep blue sea I read the first one loved it so I had to pick up the second one when I saw it at half price book the next one is stolen times by Daniel Rollins I have no idea what this is about but I loved the cover it's just a girl falling. Uh, so yeah, I had to pick this up for Young Adult Fantasy. And then next for Young Adult Fantasy, I picked up Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I know that there's heists in this, but other than that, I really don't know much about it except that everybody loves it and Netflix is making an adaptation of it. So I wanted to purchase it and read it before the either TV show or movie came out. So yeah, I picked up Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Okay, and then I picked up Daughter of Sparta by Claire M. Andrews uh, from Once Upon a Book. This is about a girl named Daphne who has to go to war to save Olympus, I believe. I don't know too much about it. You'll know that if you don't already know if you're new here or you just really haven't watched a lot of my videos. I really don't like knowing much about books before I go on. I'm definitely a cover or a title by person. Uh, but this one I didn't have a choice, I didn't. Besides the hint that um, Once Upon a Book gives you, you don't know what book you're gonna get. So yeah, I have Daughter of Sparta by Claire M. Andrews. Okay, and then I have Muse of Nightmare by Lainey Taylor. I don't own the first one. I haven't read the first one. Um, uh, my friend accidentally picked up the second one and gave it to me, so yeah. I have the second in Straight to the Dreamer series, so next time I'm able to buy books, I'm definitely going to be picking up the first one. Sorry, that reflection is real bad for my light. Okay, and then I own the first two in the series, uh, The Dragon Heir. Uh, this is another YA fantasy. It's called The Dragon Heir by Cinda Williams Chima, I believe is how you pronounce her name. Uh, I believe this is just called the Heir series. Uh, there's the Warrior, the Wizard Heir, and then the third is The Dragon Heir. I have no idea what it's about, but the covers look really good, so yeah, cover by. And then I picked up the novellas from the I Am F number 4 series. 
uh, by Pinnacus Lore. So I've got The Lost Files Hidden Enemy, The Lost Files Zero Hour, The Lost Files The Legacies, and The Lost Files The Secret Histories. So it's kind of like little novellas on the characters and everything, just diving deeper into the, you know, I Am Number 4 series. And then I did pick up a couple of the I Am books in the I Am Number I did pick up a couple more books in the I Am Number 4 series, so I picked up The Power of Six, The Rise of Nine, The Fall of Five, and The Fate of Ten. I think I'm only missing two books, I Am Number 4 and the last one, if I remember correctly, but I think I'm missing one or two from this series. And then hopefully I will have all of them one day. Those are also by Pay the Kiss Lore. And then last but not least for my YA fantasy, my friend gifted me A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Math. And yeah, uh, this is about a girl named Feyre who is human and she kills a fey wolf and is whisked off to the fey realm and falls in love. There's romance, there's fighting, there's war. I've read it clearly because I know what it's about. But yeah, so I got A Court of Thorns and Roses. Now we're going to go to adult fantasy. And for the first one I picked up was a sand The first one I picked up is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Robin Hobb is all over booktube, especially the booktubers that I watch. And so when I was able to buy books, I just had to pick it up and I can't wait to start reading it. Apparently this series, this realm that Robin Hobb has created is devastatingly beautiful and I'm excited to start it when my TBR game lets me pick up an adult fantasy. Okay, and then I have The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Um, all I know about this is there's a library between life and death and you can kind of see where your life would be if you had chosen a different path. My dad actually gifted this to me, uh, so I'm really excited to pick this up. And then next I picked up The Deep by uh, Rivers Salomon. Salome? I, pronounce, I apologize if I'm pronouncing the last name wrong. And all I know about this is it's basically mermaids of the slaves that um, died at sea. And that's basically all I know about it, but it's a uh, adult fantasy. It is quite small. I didn't realize how small it was when I purchased it, but yeah, I got the deep. And then I picked up The Mortalists by Chloe, Chloe Benjamin. And all I know about this is basically a fortune teller tells these siblings when or how they're gonna die, and it's basically each section is just going through their lives so there's that and so yeah I got the moralist by Chloe Benjamin Chloe Chloe Benjamin where's my brain and then I picked up the tangled land the tangled lands by Holio I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the last name because I I can't and I will forever be sorry to the author and Tobias S. Buckle. Um, I have no idea what it's about. It was a it was a cover by because it is a really pretty cover. Uh, so yeah, I got the Tangled Lands. And then I picked up The City of Brass by S.A. Shakaborty. And if I remember correctly, this is basically about a girl who releases a gin and kind of has to go and re-put the gin back where it belongs, if I remember correctly. If not, please correct me. But uh, yeah, I picked up The City of Brass. It is a beautiful cover. And of course, I purchased it because it was all over BookTube a couple months ago. So yeah, I have The City of Brass by S.A. Shakaborty. And then last for adult fantasy I picked up the Priory in the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon uh, mostly cover by I don't know what it's about it is a beautiful cover and of course it was all over booktube and I definitely feed into the hype so I picked up the Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon okay next I'm combining mystery thrillers and horror I know that they're separate on my board game but they're basically the same thing so I'm just gonna read them off together so for the first one I picked up my sister the serial killer I am not gonna try and pronounce the author's name just out of respect for not messing it up uh, but I will show you who it's by uh, and this one is basically about two sisters and one of them's a serial killer so yeah I enjoyed it I did read it so there's that. And then I picked up Room by Emma Donahue, and this is, there's also a movie in this. 
Uh, this is just basically about a boy and a girl who are kidnapped and yeah, I would definitely look up trigger warnings for this book before you pick it up, but this is another mystery thriller that I picked up. And then I picked up The Roses of May by Dot Hutchins. I do own the first one, The Butterfly Garden. This is a series. I don't know what this one is about. Again, mystery and thrillers, I refuse to read what they're about because I do not want to know. Uh, but it is part of the series, uh, the collector series by Dot Hutchins. So yeah, I had to pick up the second one because I loved the first one. Okay, and then I picked up Stephen King, Salem's Lot. I don't know what it's about. Which is surprising because I'm pretty sure there's a movie as well. But yeah, I've got Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I also picked up Carrie by Stephen King. I do know what this is about. I have seen the movie. But yeah, so I have Carrie as well. And then I do believe it was like a three book collection. I believe um, that came in it was Pet Cemetery, But I sadly don't have that. My friend is currently reading that. So she has it. But yeah, so I got, for Stephen King, I have Salem Slot, Carrie, and Pet Cemetery. Oh my goodness. And then I picked up A Measure of Darkness by Jonathan Kellerman and Jesse Kellerman. I have no idea what it's about. It's a mystery thriller. It was in like a $5 bin at like Walmart. And I'm getting into mystery and thriller, so I was like, I'll just grab it. So... Um, a Measure of Darkness. And then I picked up Twisted Prey by John Stanford. Um, again, it was in the $5 bin, mystery thriller horror, so I just picked it up. And I really kind of like the cover. It's a really pretty cover. And looks like Stephen King blurbed it. Didn't know that. Okay, and then my brother kindly gifted me The Outsider by Stephen King, this hardback. Um, unfortunately, doesn't have... When I say gifted, I mean he didn't want it anymore, so he gave me his copy. Uh, so there's no dust jacket on it or anything. But yeah, he gave me The Outsider by Stephen King. And then last but not least, for mystery, horror, thriller, that kind of genres, I've got The Last Widow by Karen Slaughter. I've heard a lot about Karen Slaughter, and again, this was in that $5 horror mystery bin at Walmart so I had to pick it up because you know everyone talks about Karen Slaughter and her works so I didn't own any of her books yet so I'm happy to finally own one of her books. Okay and then I'm going to combine historical fiction and fiction together and for the first one I've got Circe by Madeline Miller. My brother kindly gifted one of my other brothers. I have two brothers by the way. I don't know if Anybody knows that, but I have two brothers. I have a younger one and an older one. My older brother kindly gifted me Cersei. He bought it for me about a year ago, and he lives out of state, so my parents went and saw him a month or two ago and finally brought it to me. I'm so excited to pick this up because I love the Song of Achilles by her, and her writing's beautiful, so I am very, very happy to have Cersei by her. And then I have The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. This was a Once Upon a Book Club pick. And uh, basically it is about three different characters. Um, two of them are based in the 1700s and one of them is present day. And it's kind of about finding yourself. I really don't want to go too much into it because I didn't know too much about it when I went into reading it. And I think that it made me enjoy the book definitely more. But yeah, this was really good and I highly recommend it. And then I picked up The Revolution of Mariana M. by Janet Fitch. I have no idea what it's about. Again, it was in that $5 bin at Walmart. And I really enjoy historical fiction. And I'm trying to expand my reading tastes and just finding out what I like. So when I can find cheap books in genres I typically don't read, I'm definitely going to be picking them up. So yeah, I picked up The Revolution of Mariana M. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right and also I just loved the cover so yeah okay and now I'm gonna combine classics and nonfiction and for the nonfiction that I picked up I got the wrong end of the table a mostly comic memoir of an, a Muslim Arab American woman just trying to fit in Acer Salman this was really really funny I highly recommend it it's just a memoir about this girl's life and living in America and you know being a Rob American and just how she juggled life and everything okay and then I picked up the Odyssey by Homer 
Uh, I absolutely love this cover of it. Barnes & Noble does have a really pretty one too, but I really enjoyed this one. And I picked this up because of the Song of Achilles. Uh, and it was at half price books for really really cheap so I couldn't pass up the opportunity to pick it up because I am finding I think I like classics so I picked up the Odyssey for a classic and then I picked up Dracula by Bram Stoker beautiful black sprayed edges um, one of Barnes & Noble's collection uh, so yeah I picked up Dracula I think everybody knows what Dracula is about I've never read it but yeah so I'm excited to have this beautiful edition with black sprayed edges. I think this is the only book I own that has, well, one of the only books that I have that has sprayed edges, so that's exciting. And then I picked up Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and I mainly picked this up because just within the past like year and a half I realized that Frankenstein isn't actually the monster. It is a scientist, and I didn't know that. so. Now I clearly have to read the book because I know nothing about it. So I picked up Frankenstein in the same beautiful edition with red sprayed. Well, it's like a, I would say like a Tuscany red or something like that if we're going to get real in-depth with the color choice. Uh, so yeah, I picked up Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. And then lastly for classics, I picked up the Oscar Wilde um, collection, a selection of his greatest works. And it is just... A beautiful edition and it's got about seven books in here and I mainly picked it up because it has a picture of Dorian Gray in it and I wanted to read that but yeah so I have a quite a few collection of his books which will be great because now I have a wide variety of classics to choose from okay and now I picked up some graphic novels I picked up I Am Gandhi, a graphic biography of a hero by Brad Meltzner. Meltzer. Uh, I thought it would be really cool to see Gandhi's life in, you know, graphic novel format. And I'm trying to decide if I even really like reading graphic novels or, you know, stuff like that. So maybe just smaller ones that aren't, you know, supposed to be going too in-depth will be better for me so I saw this it was super cheap so I was just like F it I'll buy it it is very very tiny so but yeah I picked up I am Gandhi by Brad Mel Meltzer and then lastly for graphic novels I picked up Monstrous by Majori Lee and Sana Takeda I am so sorry I'm butchering your names I've seen this all over booktube and you know people seem to love this series and there's lots of books in the series so maybe a series is what I need to get into graphic novels but everyone raves and talks about it so when I saw it go on sale I just had to pick it up and you know hopefully I will end up liking it. I own only three graphic novels, well I own more than that but I have only three graphic novels that I haven't read yet and out of all the ones I've read I really haven't liked any of them so hopefully switching the genres in which I'm reading and you know series length will kind of help me determine if I even like graphic novels but yeah I picked up Monstrous. Last but not least we have some romance books because for somebody who really enjoyed romance growing up in her books, I literally own none. So I went out and picked up, I went out and picked up a couple. I have The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Basically this is about a radio show host, well two radio show hosts who have to pretend that they dated and they didn't. I think it's like enemies to lovers, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I picked up The X Talk. By Rachel Lynn Solomon. And then I picked up The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I believe this is about a wedding. People get sick, so the bride and groom can't go on this trip that they, their honeymoon trip that they want, so they send their sis, like their maid of honor and best man, and they hate each other. It's an enemies to lovers. I think that's what it's about. I apologize if that's wrong, but I really enjoyed the cover. And of course, it was all over booktube, and I wanted to get read some more romance, so I picked this up. And then last but not least, I have Meet Me in Paradise by Libby Hubshire. 
I am currently reading it, so I kind of know what this is about. Um, these two sisters are supposed to go on vacation. One sister dips, and that's pretty much all I know about it. But again, it is a romance, and it was from Once Upon a Book Club, so I didn't even get to pick what it was. It was just the monthly pick for the month I got it for. So yeah, that is all the books I have, which I'm thinking is up in the 30s, 40s. I haven't counted but I will put it in the title and the description when I do. And I would hold up all the books, but there are lots and lots of books. So, yeah. But that is my book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like more like these sit-down videos where like book hauls and stuff, let me know. If you don't like the book hauls, I can definitely just throw those into my vlogs when I get the books in instead of waiting to sit down and do a huge one. Just definitely let me know down in the comments. But if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!